For my sixth interview, I've chosen someone wonderful who has done amazing work helping people feel at home, Ashley Powell. She's an amazing interior designer, mother, dancer, and traveler. I can't wait to get started. And as always, thank you so much for watching. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Good to see you. Good to see you. Are you ready to get started? Yeah. Let's do okay. it. Okay. So the first question, could you tell us more about your childhood? Um, sure. I grew up in Fort Wayne, Indiana, and I have two older brothers, and um, I grew up with a mom and a dad, and um, Fort Wayne is a little bit, a uh, little smaller, a little flatter, um, and, you know, uh, very... Um, sort of similar Midwestern town, right? Mm -hmm. um, grew up with, uh, you know, in one home, my, well, pretty much one home my whole life. So a pretty classic upbringing. Um, I started dancing from the age of three um, all the way till I graduated high school and then I kept dancing in college. So, um, that was a really big, uh, you know, that was, that was a pl a space where I spent a lot of time, uh, with my dance friends. Um, and I was pretty active in school and, um, just grew up with, you know, pretty solid parents taught us right from wrong, how to work hard and, um, you know, two interesting brothers. So it was a pretty good, uh, upbringing. So, yeah, a day in the life. We wake up, uh, you know, it's always a scramble. They're getting older, mm -hmm. eight and 13. So they're pretty independent. Um, but, you know, it's just the morning shuffle. Uh, it's, it's fairly militant in the, in the, in the morning, um, getting, you know, just staying on track, getting everybody uh, out the door where they need to be. Um, you know, I wake up around six thirty seven, and, and my brain's already going, you know, my, my internal checklist is, is just kind of reeling. And, um, you know, as I'm doing my hair and my makeup, I'm voice texting and, you know, planning for the day, contractors, clients, prepping. Um, so that's, it's, pr you know, I'm pretty on, uh, from the moment I wake up and, you know, just sort of taking inventory of, what I need to do. Um, and then I, I go, you know, straight to the studio or, um, to, you know, wherever, whatever destination I need to be going to. And, um, you know, and I, and I kind of just get to work from there and I try to have a, uh, like, you know, there's always a list of things to do, but I've been trying to organize it and like, okay, here are the design tasks um, are, um, like, here's like the immediate things, right. Cause these meetings are coming up or here's like, here's like the things like these projects are in motion, but these are the things that I need to do to keep little pieces, um, going, uh, or here's like, you know, we have these clients kind of on the farther horizon, um, but start, you know, drawing inspiration, start, uh, kind of like finding pockets of time to, to kind of focus your creative energies on those tasks. So there's like varying degrees of concentrations every single day. And then, and then there's always like the instant triage of somebody calling and saying, you know, I have an immediate question, you know, this is happening mm -hmm. in an hour or we're in the middle of something. Um, so that's, you know, so you're always kind of interrupted by little things. If I don't put my phone down or, you know, silence everything. Um, it's, uh, it's hard to sometimes stay focused on maybe more of the like larger projects that, you know, you really want to focus a lot of creative efforts on. Yeah. Um, so, uh, my husband, John, um, is, he's in the finance world. And, um, my two sons, Sam, who's 13, 
um, and Everett, who is eight. Um, so that that's like my nuclear family. Uh, we, we like to travel. Um, we, we like to travel with groups, but we also just like to be with the four of us. I think that's the older they get. I find that it's, if, if we're with a group of people, I lose my kids. Like they're off with their friends, which is great. You need to have, I think we all need all of those moments and all those like social experiences, but, um, the day to day, you know, here in Dayton of all the people's schedules, you know, it it can be kind of, it can become kind of that militant. Okay. We're going from this to this, to this, to this, and we have to kind of stay on track. And if we get off track, you know, the whole thing is going to blow up. But when you're on vacation, um, as you got, I mean, you, I'm like, so envious of all of your amazing travels. Um, but you really can kind of just check in with each other and just have that really relaxed time. And there's really, we don't like to have a lot of agendas when we're traveling. We, you know, we'll have a loose skeleton of kind of the, some things we want to do, but it's mostly just, all right, let's relax. Let's eat food. Let's hang out. Um, so everybody's pretty good at that. I'm not that great at it. I liked, I, I, I say that, but I'm like, okay, too much downtime. What are we doing? What are we doing? So they're always like, okay, you need to relax. Like this is a vacation, but on the weekends, like we just like to, you know, have dinner together, watch movies, um, take walks, go to the pool, um, ran- like just random spontaneous adventures. Um, so yeah, we're kind of down for anything. Um, it's, it's a real, uh, it's, it's definitely an honor. Um, it's a gift. I, I, it's something I don't take lightly. It's a big responsibility. Um, I feel like I am, you know, I am responsible for so many things. I I have a, a financial responsibility to help these people make the right decision. Um, I have, you know, the pride in my, in myself and and the kind of work I want to produce. And you try to create something very unique every single time, but there's also, you know, uh, a timeline. So I can't just spin. So I have to be able to kind of create with, you know, within a pretty timely fashion. Um, I, it, it is, you know, it, it's a pretty intimate, uh, profession. I, I don't think, I feel like sometimes I'm somewhere between a hairdresser and like a, a shrink, you know, it's like you really get, you get into these people's homes and you start to, um, learn about their lives and how they live and their relationships and their children and their spouses and their mothers and fathers and friends. And, um, it's a very intimate relationship and it becomes more, than design. It becomes, how does this person live? How do they like to spend their time? Um, and you're creating that really, you're trying to create and foster this relationship where they feel safe with you, where they, um, can, you know, uh, express their ideas where they can also, uh, trust me and my vision. So it it is, uh, it's a, you know, it's something that I, I feel as though it, it's a very, uh, it's a very comfortable space that I love being in. I love creating those relationships. I love, I love it when I'm working with somebody and it's just jiving really well. And we're kind of on the same page and we're both excited and there's a back and forth dialogue. Um, and it's a, just a very open and honest relationship. So it's, uh, yeah, I mean, it's, it, the work is, is great, but it's, it's the relationships and how you're making that person feel. Like, I think that's where I get the most reward. That was the, when I read your list of questions, I was like, Ooh, that's a tough one. Cause there's so many, <laughs> I want to go. Um, I, I've been to New York city several times. Um, 
and I, I'm always, I always fall in love with that city every time I'm there. I don't know if I am cut out to live there, but I, um, I, I love the energy of a big city. I've been to Chicago several times. Um, I, I just, I, 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 lo- I love, and I've been to different areas of New York. I've gotten to do a project in New York, which is really exciting. Um, so that, that, that's kind of what, what I thought of first. Um, there's also a place in North Carolina called Baldhead Island um, that we have vacationed probably eight times, seven or eight times. And that's kind of becoming, it's feeling like a home away from home. We don't own a home there, but we rent every time we go. And my kids love it. That's they, they would say that's their favorite place. And I think from, um, from that perspective, I love that there's that really cool town or that, that Island. It's actually an Island that they feel so connected with. And so that makes me happy. Um, I, you know, I want them to, they, they, they just would want nothing more than to be able to have a house on bald head. Um, but I'm always like, there's other places. There's so many other places that we can go and spend our time, you know, cause you have very limited vacation time. So, um, so those two places come to my mind. Um, my favorite hobby. So I mentioned I grew up dancing and I danced in college and then I was in a modern dance company in Cincinnati for about seven years, uh, which was a really amazing experience. And, um, we, you know, it was a small company, but, uh, we did a lot of things and we toured a little bit and I was able to create a lot of the work, which was really awesome. So I, you know, I don't dance anymore, but, um, I would say one of the ways that I like to spend time is either hot yoga or Pilates or some, some type of exercise. Um, I'm trying to, to create more space for myself to do that because it just takes a lot of discipline, um, and time. And, you know, just, you could get sucked into anything, right. And put, push off the workouts, but. I always am very rejuvenated whenever I do it. And it, um, even though it is a far cry from the dance world that I was in, I'm still moving my body and um, it kind of makes me think about all of that, you know, that past life. So that is a, that is um, a big hobby of mine. Um, I also do really enjoy cooking um, and, and making meals. You know, I like sharing that experience. I know you're, you, you, would agree with me. Um, I just like, so I, but I like the whole idea of entertaining and, and figuring out a, a menu, you know, that multiple, multiple people would like and enjoy and setting the table and hosting and having a house full of people. So I think that is a, another way that I really enjoy, uh, spending my time. I'm, I'm pretty extroverted. So, um, it is, you know, that feeds me, you know, being around people and having those shared experiences. I would say, um, I would say the living room is my favorite. It it, it really is. I think, um, you know, second would be the kitchen, but I, I really, cause you know, there's so much time spent in the kitchen. So, but, but where I really fall in love is the living room. And I think about all of the layers and all of the textures and, and, you know, down to the accessories and the art. Um, I just, I love incorporating a mix and I think the living room is, is that place for me to, uh, to, you know, to be that secondary hub of the home where everybody comes and enjoys and relaxes and has this sensory experience where, they're able to take in an environment that is loaded with floor to ceiling, um, you know, lots of creative elements. So I, I would say that's my favorite. 
I am passionate about um, one thing I love doing is I love connecting people. It's, it's, it's one of my favorite things to do. Um, it sounds a little strange, but you know, if I know somebody, if I'm talking to somebody and they're sharing an experience or they're saying, you know, I would really love to find X or I, you know, I'm really looking to do Y. And then I know somebody else that is able to help them get in that direction. I love putting those people together and, you know, saying, talk amongst yourselves. I think you guys could help each other get to where you need to go. Um, and I see, you know, new relationships forming and I see people that have, uh, you know, talents or, um, you know, certain answers. I'm just being kind of vague, you know, mm -hmm. I, they love to share their expertise or their experience. And, um, and I, I find that very, very satisfying. It's like matchmaking. <laughs> Is it is? <laughs> Although I, I will not be in the matchmaking business, um, <laughs> I only tell people and let them make it happen. Like I did that once, and it didn't go very well. And so I'm like, I'm out of that. <laughs> but I can connect people on like you know uh, how to find a job or uh, how to you know uh, what doctor to go to or you know <laughs> dumb yeah. stuff. But, yeah. <laughs> Some of my long-term goals would, um, you know, are, are more just like work focused, I would say. Mm -hmm. um, I would like to, you know, to keep continuing to grow the business, grow the brand, develop the brand. Um, we have a few projects out of town, but, you know, that's really coming from like, word of mouth of clients that I've worked with or clients that have homes in other states. Um, so I'm, I'm very interested. I need to create time and space to, to consult with a brand consultant um, to understand what those next steps would be and how to um, grow the social media audience. I'm currently mm -hmm. running the social media. Um, so, you know, I, I want that to be better. I need to understand how to make reels. Do you know how to make reels by the way? <laughs> I do. <laughs> I have a lot of ideas. Like I know, like I know the like the, the real journey, you know, or like of a project start to finish, but mm -hmm. I can't figure out how to organize them. Like I'll put them in a file folder and it's just like, Oh my gosh, like it takes hours and you're probably like, listen, this is really, it didn't take you that long, but, um, I might be laboring over it too much, but, you know, I want to be able to do those things better. Um, and, and maybe get into the e-commerce world mm -hmm. and selling products, you know, if like you, if I have an image, you know, you like you can click on, Oh, I want to buy that. I want to buy that. Um, that kind of like making money in your sleep concept. But, um, you know, with that comes a lot more headaches. Um, but I, I would, you know, but you would just grow the support of the business. And mm -hmm. so I see a lot of potential for that. We tossed around the idea, the space to the right of us, if you're looking at um, our door, they unfortunately went out of business. And so we really heavily considered renting that space and creating Roseberry Allen home. I, I, I just didn't feel like it was r the right thing to do. Um, it's a lot more overhead, a lot more inventory and things tend to sit, things tend to get shop worn. Uh, it's never quite the right thing that somebody wants or they get sticker shock or, you know, um, there's really not that level of, of a, sh of a, of a shopping experience here. So, although I think it would be, I think there are some people that would support it, um, I just think uh, a, 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 an animal like that needs to be constantly um, tweaked and that um, felt a little bit daunting. And I, and I, I've never done retail. 
Um, I've, I've never had to have a showroom to sell anything to anyone um, for better or worse. Um, people just kind of trust me. I, you know, the beauty of being an independent interior designer is that we have access to 40, 50 different lines that we can pull from and create a really one of a kind um, look for somebody. And we're not just beholden to selling Ethan Allen products that, you know, are very limiting. Um, I can pull a fabric from this fabric company and put it on that sofa and make pillows out of that fabric. And, um, and we can get wall coverings from anywhere. And I, you know, obviously the, the endless potential with carpenters and um, just having all of those relationships, we can put a very curated, unique look together. Um, that's such a custom experience compared to the retail experience where people can just come in and say, Oh, I want to buy that. Um, which I think there is a lot of value and I think there is a need for that. I just didn't know if I really wanted to do that. I, I like the idea more of um, having flash sales on Instagram. Like when we go to market and we buy all those antiques, um, you know, set it up like, okay, at 10 AM, all these items are going to go on the, on the market and, you know, and then you kind of create that um, sense of urgency, you know, the impulse mm-hmm. purchase. I think past COVID, um, people are more, uh, people are very comfortable buying things on the internet, especially mm-hmm. if it's from a trusted resource, um, mm-hmm. you know, within the, the brand that we're growing. Um, hopefully people value it as a trusted resource. We wouldn't sell it if we didn't love it that kind of thing. So that those are kind of the thoughts, you know, going forward of um, what other kinds of experiences can we provide? Um, how can we be more accessible to more people or sh- should we be more accessible to more people or should we stay in our lane? Um, so these are kind of some of the like philosophical questions that I have in my head. Um, short term, is that good for long term? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, definitely. <laughs> Um, short term, you know, I have, I have these, uh, like, you know, more independent goals. Like I sent out a text. We have the Powell family, like the four of us, my youngest has a little Apple watch. She doesn't have a phone, but the 13 year old has a phone. So, you know, I was like, we need to, we need to make a, a commitment to, to, volunteer more or do more acts of service, you know, we need to, so I'm like constantly, um, you know, thinking and like thoughts come in my head. I'm like, okay, family, we gotta, we gotta, we gotta give back more. Okay. We gotta make that a priority. So little things like that also kind of, you know, I'm consumed with too. So. Uh, you are an inspiration to me because of your <clears throat> love for what you do and your amazing family. Who inspires you? Um, well, thank you. First of all, <laughs> that is so kind and flattering. And I'm so honored and thrilled that you value you. You look at me that way. That's really like the coolest thing I've ever heard. Um, so thank you. And thank you for giving me these awesome awesome opportunity. And I love, I love this platform that you have. And, um, I think you're doing great work and, um, you're super creative and, uh, we, I bought your cards. I, I, I love <laughs> mm-hmm. So, um, uh, uh, so, you know, back at you, I'm inspired by you. Um, Thank you. <laughs> I am very inspired by you and your talents and your, uh, your energy and, you're, um, you know, you're just so curious, you know, I think that that's, that's always going to serve you well, um, your curiosity and your interest in things and you're just, uh, your willingness to take a leap, you know? Um, so, um, lots of love back and forth. Um, (laughs) I am, I'm inspired by, um, my uh, immediate team here. Um, I feel so lucky. We have the most uh, fun group of women. Um, my business partner, Lori, 
uh, is, you know, always positive. She is very calming. Um, she's very, very creative. I, I get inspiration from her every day. We definitely love the, the back and forth. You know, we toss ideas to each other. We tease out, um, problem areas. You know, we try to come up with really unique solutions. The troubleshooting is, is really, really fun to do that with somebody else. I would, you know, she has her sets of clients. I have mine. We have shared projects. I feel like we touch every single project that comes out of Roseberry Allen. There is, there, you know, there is some type of conversation where we're like, is, does this feel right? Are we on the right track? Um, what do you think about this? I'm struggling with this. So that, that back and forth, I really value. Um, it would be, it'd be tough for me to just do this by myself. I just, sometimes I get, you know, I'd get stuck in my head with all my thoughts and it's great to have a sounding board to be able to toss all those ideas out and see what sticks. Mm -hmm. Um, our Angie, our office manager is just incredible. Um, I'd like to say I know what she does, but I really don't know. I could, I couldn't, I could, I can't do the things she does. I would, this business would not work without her. Um, she does all of our accounts payable, receivable. She keeps all of the numbers absolutely in line. Our taxes, um, little things like ordering more waters for clients. Um, we, we try, you know, we try to create a really great experience. Um, and, you know, having refreshments and snacks and music and, you know, just creating a really cool vibe when clients come in here. Um, she's always thinking about those things. And I'm just like, I'm just blown away by her uh, attention to detail and, and just always picking up where, you know, we kind of need some support. And then Tracy, our assistant, our design assistant, um, uh, just also brings an incredible energy. Um, she does these reports every month for clients um, that, you know, we just track all the items and we send that. So we're proactive in that, uh, in that process. So they know where they stand with the status of their projects. Um, and we're, we continue to develop different processes of project management just to make the projects go as smoothly as they can so we get ahead of any potential challenges. Um, and the four of us just have fun. Like, it's just a fun space. It doesn't, it doesn't feel like work. So I, I'm just so proud of the team. I'm so um, energized by them. You know, I, it makes me want to keep growing the business and have, you know, just keep becoming successful to, you know, just to keep them happy, you know, and, and I, you know, I, I, I never want to lose them. So I'm very much inspired by them. I'm inspired by, um, uh, my, you know, my husband is, um, like such a kinder, uh, more patient human than I am. So mm -hmm. I, I try to, um, I, I, you know, we push each other a lot, but, um, you know, his, his just general ability to love unconditionally is, is pretty incredible. Um, and to love me and I'm kind of a pain sometimes. So, um, so I, I'm, I'm very inspired by him and my kids, um, and, and the kindness around me, you know, that the kindness from friends, um, that are just, you know, good people and, doing good work and waking up every day and doing the best they can for their kids and their families and their communities. You know, I, I do really think change starts on such a local level, um, you know, and just surrounding yourself with those kinds of people that share your same values is always inspiring to me to like stay on track and keep doing good and keep, you know, just being the best person I can be every single day. That's really all we have. I Thank you so much for letting me interview you. This was very fun. Oh, I had a blast. Thank you for the opportunity. This was very fun. I really appreciate it.